Hey everybody, this is Stormy with the capital Z and today I'm going to be playing some Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition. Unlike my usual stick, this time around I'm actually going to go and play some single player stuff. So I have a request by a friend and a viewer. He wants me to play out the Honfog Lalis campaign. So it's a part of the historic battle thing. So yep, single player actually has a lot of stuff here. You got campaigns, you got historic battles, you got the art of war. So you got a lot of content on this game. So uh, we got this map. I'm not exactly sure. This is probably s Europe. Yeah, this is definitely Europe. And this is supposed to be South America, right? I don't know. Let me let me know in the comments below. I'm terrible at history and stuff. So, this is the Hunt for Gladys campaign, and so the request is by my good friend Warboss, Gogan Gash. So, what about is this, what do we have in this campaign? Pushed westwards into Europe by rival tribes, the Mayars entered the rich Pannonian plains. Here they will find grazing land for their ho horses and eventually a home for a new Hungarian state. In this scenario you will play as Mayars or Magyars. Well, it said Mayars in the cinematic so that's why I'm just saying Mayars. Throughout Europe, church bells ring while screams and the smell of burning wood fill the air. Everybody knows of the terror of the Vikings and their feared longships. But those who dwell in land face another horror. Oh, by the way, there's going to be a skip Maya button. Horsemen strike deep into the European heartland, raiding, plundering, and killing without distinction. These nomadic pagans come from far to the east, where they were driven out from their homelands by their aggressive neighbors. Now they have arrived in Europe, and their lightning-quick raids terrify the locals. The rulers of Europe are powerless to stop these swift mounted marauders. Raiding, however successful, cannot sustain the Maya tribes forever, and they are ready to settle down. Scouts have found a suitable location to the south, large open grassland, similar to the steppes of the Maya's ancestral home, lie within the Carpathian Basin. Only the eastern Franks, Moravians, and Bulgarians stand in their way. If the Mayars can defeat them, the tribes will once again have a land to call their own. Alright, pretty interesting piece of uh, history. Warbus actually told me a lot of things about Mayars. Well, obviously because of his ethnicity. So, I know a couple of things about them. I'm not going to go into them specifically because I'm pretty sure I'll miss code for something. So, in this campaign at least, we're going to be basically attacking the guys, the civilizations rather, in Central Europe. Oh, wait a second, is that even Central Europe? I don't know. It's 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 Europe, guys. I don't know. It's somewhere in Europe. <laughs> Once upon a time, somewhere in Europe. <laughs> you guys choose where. <laughs> Okay, is the game loaded or... I don't know. Okay, it's still loading. So, I did take the opportunity to actually play this campaign or rather play this mission ahead of this um, video. Not the whole thing, but that kind of gave me an insight of this whole thing. So, I'm going to explain that to you. So, we got to defeat two out of uh, three of the main factions, that is Bulgarian... Mora uh, Moravia and uh, Frank so out of the three we got beat two of them we're gonna select who we're gonna beat later on so in the secondary objectives uh, we got something we got a, some uh, special feature in this uh, mission by the way there's a skip button there you if you do if you already know about it you don't want to listen to it you can just click on the skip button to skip to the gameplay so if you don't build a town center you don't have a town center by the way at the start of this uh, map if you don't build one you get an advantage known as nomadism that basically allows you to advance to the castle age you must first defeat aviar tribes 
Okay, so here's the thing. If we b beat the Avar tribes, we advance to Castle Age without the town center. If we bring sheep to this little pen over here, that basically gives us, gives us free food. Logic, I don't know how, but it, that just, it just does it. Then while raising buildings, to uh, raise buildings to loot additional resources. So basically that's like pillage of Warcraft. While I destroy buildings, I get resources from them. And then destroying town centers to capture villagers. So basically, when I destroy ca uh, destroy enemy town center, I get get villagers. And I kind of like this whole setup. We are the ten arrows that will strike Europe. We will take so this land by force. We will take this land by force. <laughs> so here's the thing. I only have two villagers at this point of the game. Once I start destroying some town centers and stuff. I'm gonna have more and oh wait a second I have more than just two villagers I got s I got some here all right all right we got some buildings and stuff here now this is the great part of the about this game you can zoom in zoom out uh, you can have uh, control groups and you can see them here which is amazing you got this or orchestral uh, remix which is uh, it feels so good so I'm gonna bring everybody over here including all my villagers and stuff and uh, we got some Outpost that give you some crucial information. I guess they're just pointing out to the resources at this point and uh, Okay, we haven't done any kind of exploration. We got uh, seven light cavalries. Yeah, these are light cavalries These are cavalry archers. Yes, these are cavalry archers and these are the villagers of course We're gonna keep them here for the time being and we're gonna go and uh, do some scouting with our horses so here's the thing i got like two sheeps in there if i can have like 20 that's gonna give me a lot of resources and stuff and i guess i cannot have more than 20 and you can see the ticker up here that's basically we're getting extra resources uh every two or three seconds and that's gonna increase when we have more number of uh, sheeps inside that pen so i'm gonna go and uh, am i even ready to raid this town i don't know i'm just gonna go ahead so here's another problem if I actually let them... Yeah, yeah, this is gonna be a problem. So the last time that I played, this was rather easier. Uh, here's the thing. I gotta have to kill those uh, villagers if I don't want them to go into the town center. But at the same time, I don't even want to kill the villagers because I want the villagers for myself. I can drive them away. Well, that's sad. I just killed a villager. Uh, more coming. I'm trying my best to drive them away, but I'm not really doing a very good job at it. Most likely, we're gonna have like one or two villagers uh, scattered around here and there. So this is the town center of the the Great Moravia. I don't think this is their main base. There's no chance that this is their main base. This, uh, yeah, this looks orange. So this is of ours? No, that can't be. Ours is sort of... Oh. This is probably the main town center of the Moravia. This is East Frank. And uh, the orange is ours. So basically, if we can just raid the ours here. Okay, they got a town center here. They got towers and stuff. And uh, yeah, once we are done destroying this building, we're probably gonna get some resources. And if there are some villagers nearby, we'll get them as well. So we're gonna pick this cavalry and we're gonna name him Steve. Steve, go around and do some scouting for me, bro. So yeah, we have, this is fixed. This was not a thing in Age of Empires 2 original or the HD. You could not do this. This, this just didn't work out. Now you can do it. You can actually queue up um, your uh, commands this way. You can sh hold shift and queue up the commands, which is an amazing feature and a must have for RTS. So we got some resources now. Uh, well, basically we only got uh, resources out of the sheep. So we're gonna train more light cavalries and uh, we can do some upgrades. Okay, what do we have? Uh, we're gonna do this upgrade because this uh, has something to do with cavalry. I didn't even read the whole thing. Do we got resources? Give me resources, baby. I think we got some resources. Not much, but we got something. Okay, here's the thing. I wanna have. 
I want to be able to like get some villagers and stuff out of this thing. Otherwise, I mean, raiding the towns are going to be rather useless. The problem with destroying the town centers of uh, enemies is that uh, when you attack the t enemy town centers, basically uh, all of their units, uh, all of their villagers just go inside them. So that's that. So I'm going to have these things and oh, I actually got some villagers. That's great. Okay, now, uh, speaking of villagers, I think I can use these villagers to get some resources for myself. So, what do I want to get? There's a lot of food here. I think I'll send them here for some hunting purpose. And uh, mind you, I can also make farms. So, that's the thing. Once I have the mill down, I can make farms. I don't even need the town center. So, nomadism winning. Whoever told you nomadism is backward, he, he, he just lied, you know. He's just... He's just too much into his modern liberal hashtag modern thinking sucks. <laughs> no mightism rocks. <laughs> make make them a make that a beam man. Oh that's a castle. Oh gotta wait, gotta 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 watch my gotta watch my way. So yeah, that is definitely not the Moravian's uh, main base. Moravian's uh, Mor Moravian can I call them Moravian? Yeah, I can call them Moravian. They are Moravia, so that's Moravian base, right? All right, we got some uh, stuff here. Uh, so here's the thing. I actually destroyed the town center of the Moravian here, so I don't know how... Maybe I just feel that maybe these villages should have also been mine. I don't know. So, uh, did my villagers reach there? Yes, my villagers are there. And uh, I'm gonna drop down a mill here and uh, start killing those deers. I'm gonna make some more light cavalries in the meantime because food is basically unlimited for us. We got, we got some more sheep. I'm gonna send them into the pen. Steve will find more sheep. Have faith in Steve. Ooh, more castles. I have no idea how nomadism is supposed to counter this. Castles. Eh. No big deal. Alright, we don't have any archery range or any other building yet. So the only unit that we can basically train are light cavalries. And we can probably upgrade them into huskars sooner or later. And... Yeah, this is the cavalry upgrade, but... I can't get it just yet. I'm gonna be able to get it just in a bit. And what do we have here? All right, another Moravian town center. Once I raid this, I will also get a few more villages, most probably, and some resources and stuff, most likely. So yeah, you can see that the resources are definitely increasing. I mean, it's not much, but well, it's okay, I guess. Well, at least the stone isn't all that much. Maybe you get more of the other resources. And we got some army and stuff here, so I don't think I'm gonna attack the Avars just yet. Avars or Avars, I don't know what to call them. So we can see the score here on the top. We got the Bulgarians and the East Franks. So they're probably the you know hardest guys to deal with. So we're gonna be have we're gonna have to have a watch on that. We're gonna have to be careful with that. Okay, I'm just gonna call my army back to the base momentarily. And uh, what the hell are you guys doing? Come on, start hunting. And uh, we're gonna scout around the map a bit with Steve. That's because I don't really know any other safe raiding zone that I can just uh, leave my units at and uh, forget about it. Uh, maybe this, but oh no, we have a castle up there. I don't want to go there. I'm not going there. I'm going to use Steve to scout around a bit. Come on, Steve. Give me some good good uh, insight. Sir, this is Steve reporting. I see a outpost. Very nice, Steve. What else do you see? It's Hungarian! Oh, oh, wait a second. It's not Hungarian, it's Han, Steve. Oh, that's my mistake. Yes. I just saw Huns. Hopefully, <laughs> I didn't click any buttons with that one. I see wolves! Well, we can't eat them. Unlike Age of Empires 1. From what I remember, I mean, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, but in Age of Empires 1, you could eat, to ba you could basically get food from any animals, and then when Age of Empires 2 came along, you couldn't basically get food from the wild um, carnivorous animals, rather, the animals that basically attack you. You could only get it from uh, deers and uh, stuff, and okay, we got these things here, and oh, it's following me. Sir, the wolf's following me, sir. 
Well, we got we got stuff. You know what? Just go and raid the wolves. We won't be getting anything out of it, but okay. Okay, we can get some upgrades for our cavalry. Uh, Reset scale, branding up armor. That's gonna make our cavalry more uh, resistant. If I'm not incorrect. Uh, yeah. We taught that wolf a lesson, and his buddy wolf doesn't want to pick up a fight, but we're just gonna kill him either ways. Because, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know what's gonna happen if we don't do that, right? Right? Hey, what the hell are you guys doing? Come on! Don't you see? Alright. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have to go back over here. Bulgarian, Great Moravia, and East Frank. So, Byzantines are not in the main objective. And the guy just said that there's something related to Byzantines towards the east. They may have something to offer us. Are they going to be our allies? Oh, that's going to be pretty great if they are. And uh, how do I check? Okay. I, uh, 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 Steve. Steve, just stay there. And uh, ally. Uh-huh. The Bulgarians are our ally? That doesn't make any sense. We're trying to beat the Bulgarians here, right? Well, it gave us the option to choose between Frank, Bulgarian, and Moravia. We can just beat two of them. Uh, so basically, we can just keep Bulgaria as ally, I guess. I wouldn't mind. Uh, Byzantine, yeah, they're allies. So Byzantine are good people. As long as they support us, they're good people. More sheep, sir! I just found more sheep. Send him to the pen. One more! And two more! Winning! You have been promoted to the position of sergeant. You shall now be called Sergeant Steve. Oh, thank you! Okay, I kind of remember uh, looking around this area when I first played this, but I don't really know if I'm actually going to find anything worthwhile. But here's the thing, you just got to search around a bit and okay now, um, <laughs> some viewers may be like, okay, he's just being stupid at this point because I, c I have like a lot of scout cavalry, so I can actually si scout this out uh, simultaneously, you know. And uh, queue these guys up as well. Sir, I just found nothing. You found nothing, Steve. Uh, Alright, what are the other two doing? Oh! Wilson just found three sheep. Good job, Wilson. I'm probably gonna end up mixing. Is prepared to pay you two thousand gold if you declare war on the Bulgarians. On top of that, he will pay you five hundred gold for every Bulgarian fortification that you destroy. Hmm, that's a tempting offer. <laughs> that's a very tempting offer. But you know, I gotta go back and look at the deal again, and you know, kind of calculate this. So our emperor, oh the emperor! Is prepared to pay you 2,000 gold if you declare war on Bulgaria. So basically, I just change my stance to enemy and I get 2k gold. So, <laughs> that's a pretty good deal. <laughs> I can't deny that. On the top of that, he will pay you 500 gold for every Bulgarian fortification that you destroy. So, basically, that's gold. Gold! Yeah, the only problem here is... I can't really defeat the Bulgarians with sticks and harsh language. And uh, speaking of Bulgarians, where th where the hell are they? They're green. I haven't seen any any green guys on the map yet. Okay, then. So, uh, Steve is at the Byzantines. I'm gonna. S uh, wait a second. That's not Steve. Steve's here. That's not Wilson either. Wilson's here. Uh. 
So we haven't named our third uh, horseman. I don't know what to call him. I don't know what I want to call him. Alright, unnamed horseman. Make your way due east. You'll probably find some point of interest. And uh, my villagers are free again. You people don't know how to stuff. Yeah, you just don't know how to do stuff. So, Stephen Wilson. Oh, is this? Yeah, this is Bulgaria. You know what? We're just gonna check out their castle and stuff. And oh, this is a crypt post. This is one of the new buildings. This is sort of a mini castle thingy. They got a mini castle here. They got towers here. Yeah, I gotta check up whether I can actually beat them or not. You know, otherwise it'll rather be useless too. And you know, the whole point of uh, destroying one outpost may just be like destroying this whole thing and 500 gold, which isn't a bad deal either. But you gotta be careful with the choices and stuff. And what do they have? They got long swordsmen, okay, right? Ah, uh, don't mind that. Don't mind that. Mm, apart from that, I, I guess the Bulgarians will be having these kind of outposts all across the map. So, here's the thing. Uh, here's the thing that, uh, yeah, the guy that asked me to play this campaign told me about it. You base, he told me that, okay, now because uh, it's in definitive edition, they have upgraded stuff a lot. So, Bulgarians were not a thing in the earlier expansion or earlier, uh, earlier games of uh, Age of Empires 2. So, here's the thing. The crep post, I mean, this was, this was not there earlier. So here, uh, so that's you know that's a great thing now. Now you got that appropriate stuff. Uh, okay, now. Uh, a lot of scouting and a lot of scouting. And oh wow, I have a lot of food at this point. Okay, here's the thing. Bulgarians over here only have like uh, towers for their defenses. I should be able to take them out rather easily if I really wanted to. And yeah, it's a pretty good deal. The only thing is, I just hope that the Byzantines don't turn, you know, turn on me. And, uh, you know, betray them by betray my trust if I actually do that. Because then I lose a good ally, which, yeah, Bulgarians look like good ally to me. These forts and stuff look fine. But uh, yeah, I also don't know how uh, much they're going to assist me in the whole fight and stuff. I don't think the Byzantines are going to assist me either. So what's the next resource that I want? I definitely want more trees. And okay, this area rather looks rich in trees. I guess I'll just go and make a nice little... Yeah, this this should... I don't know. I don't, I don't know where I want to build it. I'll build one here for the time being. Um, nah, I'll build one here. Easy. This looks better. Easy. We're already getting a lot of food out of the sheaves that we have in the pen, so food is really not a problem. And what is this? The Great Moravian Advanced Castle Age. Alright. Are they gonna attack us? Hmm. I did not count on this possibility. I thought this was a more of a passive mission and uh oh, well, somebody's attacking us. It's just one little spearman, so it's not no big to worry about, but we gotta be careful. And why the hell are the horses struggling to chase a spearman? That doesn't even make a lot of sense out there. All right, we got gold and stuff here and uh, keep this on and do this research. Okay, we can't get, uh, we won't be getting uh, the town center uh, researches that uh, deal with attack and stuff. 
Okay, now what do we want to build? I think we want to build archery. I don't know if I want to build an archery or a uh, barracks. Build both, I guess. I got enough resources at this point. I can do this research as well. Double build axe and uh, Steve's here with this small little army. This map is huge though. There's a lot of exploration to do. Status, status with uh, I don't I don't I forgot what I named him Wilson. Yeah, I probably named him Wilson. And what do we have here? Okay, our ally is actually making a university, which means that our ally values education. I don't think the Bulgarians are worth betraying. They value education, guys. It's a tough deal. Okay, we got more Bulgarian stuff here. And uh, here's the thing. Our Byzantines are only giving us gold, while Bulgarians actually have forces and they can actually assist us in the fight. I don't know how are they going to do that, but I kind of feel that they can assist us in the fight. And uh, okay, now here's the other thing. Where's my pen? Okay, there's my pen. How many sheep do I have? 13, all right. So with these three, there will be 16. So yeah. Attacking the Bulgarians for an optional objective of getting well cooked that gold's a lot of gold that I'll, I'll say that to you, but Here's the thing about um, The Mayars the Mayars don't need gold Well, they need well, all civilizations need gold, but they don't need a lot of gold. I can tell you that with my by my experience They probably have the best uh, light cavalries and stuff so okay Bulgarians have a lot there's no way I'm gonna betray them but okay now thinking about that whole concept so far we have only seen okay wow one of our enemies has reached Imperial age so yeah speaking about the whole concept of not wanting to beat Bulgarians Okay, what the hell is going on there? Oh, no, 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 no! How dare he? How dare he? How dare he do that? He dares take away my sheep from my pen. How dare he? Well, we got one Bulgarian ally chasing after him, so... Yeah, Bulgarians are definitely worth it. I don't think I want to beat... I don't think I want to... Uh, going to harm the Bulgarians. Hmm? Huh? I'm gonna build one little uh, mining camp here. That's gonna give them some gold and yeah, you can get gold. I mean, looking at the map, there's plenty of gold available everywhere. Yeah, of course, you definitely won't have 500 gold, 200 gold like that, but uh, so far I haven't found that many Bulgarian camps either. Okay, this side of the map is done. Steve, you can come back to the base now. Uh, ha. Looking at the Bulgarian base. Yeah, so I was talking something about uh, looking at the Bulgarian base and stuff. The Bulgarian base is pretty good, but we have not seen what the other civilizations on this map have. So we haven't seen the stretch of the other two people that we want to have to beat up so we're gonna have to see that as well otherwise we won't be able to make the decision of who we want to beat up uh, i think i can do this one now and uh, queue up queue up Okay, now I have all three buildings, all three base buildings, and uh, okay, they got cavalry as man. I need some spearmen. And uh, what else do I want to make? I probably want to make some archers because I saw, I probably saw some infantry, so these counter that. Alright, Wilson. We gotta do some more scouting. We gotta beat the Avars and we gotta do it on our own. Once we do that, that'll give us Castle Age. That will give us 
the access to build castles and stuff and yeah we need we need that like right away so we're gonna build an army and we're gonna go and beat up uh, the avars I guess we're just gonna make trash units considering the fact that we don't have any gold. I was like, I just randomly said I'm gonna make skirmishers and um, spearmen, and uh, I just kinda discovered the fact that they're just <laughs> trash units. <laughs> trash units are defined as the units that don't require gold in Age of Empires, so that's that for you. Okay, I'm gonna make a marketplace for myself and. Okay, if the Bulgarians actually have a market, I can actually trade with them. Do they have a mark? This is a university. Well, they can make a market. And I can definitely... I think the AI does work that way. Can I do that? AI command. Uh, where's market? There was a command to make market. If you tell your ally to make a market, he actually makes a market. Build a Build market. A market with a flared location. Oh! You can actually flare a location. Awesome! Okay, now I'm... I'm under the guise that once I make this market, I should have the vision of the Bulgarians and uh, the Byzantines as well. Because that's what happens in campaigns. Uh, I mean, <laughs> normal missions or any other campaign missions. Do I... Hmm, I don't. That's not right. Well, that's just how this mission works out, I guess. Come on, trash units. gonna train a lot of trash units and currently we're in feudal age we do need castle age like as soon as possible like on the double we do need that at some point we do need to get some stone miners as well i guess i could spare one of my woodcutters and i guess i can spare one of these guys and send him uh oh am i under attack whoa that's a Kind of a huge army. So yeah, I was saying I need some stone. Where, where is stone? Stone was at a lot of places actually. I want some leaned back place that I can put it up on. Now, here's the problem. We've discovered that the enemies can actually attack you. It's not a case of a mission where the enemies are just passive and they just resist attacks. Uh, the enemies will definitely attack you. They're attacking you and you need something to defend off yourself with. So, come on man, give me some stone. Where do I find some stone? There was some stone here. Also, okay, stone is ahead. Okay, we got some stone here, and uh, it's rather safe. Hmm. Oh, wow! Waves and waves and waves. I got armies ready, but. some archers and stuff as well we got a lot of uh, infantry units coming in archers kind of counter infantry from dino don't mind that give me a moment guys Jodi, 
छोटा रुमाल नाप के मिलती थी Alright, I'm back. Teutonic Knights, of course. I'm gonna beat up castle age units using trash units, people. Here's the thing. They're attacking with all their might and stuff. Repelling this attack is gonna be difficult, guys. Uh oh, they could cross a moment of their own now. Yeah, now this is a time when you want to consider that do you really want to keep that nomadism benefit or not? you definitely need more villagers at this point you just had a wave of ta uh, wave of things attacking you most likely you're gonna have that again you want to attack the hours but you can't really afford to have the Moravians and uh, Franks attack you while you're not there at all Really have no uh, option but to keep producing. Oh come on, formations and stuff, really. Some units here, but we'll force them out. the only thing I can think of. Uh oh. Cavalriers. units go out and then attack them that's really all you can do and yeah our base is already oh no the pens destroyed and all of our sheeps are taken practically all of them well when the going gets tough the tough gets going I guess gotta bring back my army um, we gotta leave behind the nomadism. Where are my towers? I have a feeling we may lose this mission unless until we can actually re retreat to our allies and survive from there. Whoa, we actually, we're actually winning this fight. We had more number of units, I guess. 
Okay, they got more units over there. Well, this is the time you know that you have to leave the nomadism behind. Um, town center, please. Why can't I build it here? Come on! Ask our Bulgarian allies to help us out. I'm being attacked. Please help. <laughs> Will he help? That's a bigger question. So I'm currently being attacked by two guys. And none of them are Bulgarian. So, question is, do I really want to support the Byzantines? Of course, that decision may change later on. And my allies even isn't even coming to me. No chance at this point. <laughs> the mission gave me enough time, but I guess I just wasn't fast enough. Well, another glorious loss for the Mayars. See you next time when we attempt to beat the mission again. Until then.